And finally, um, how will you know when you're successful? So um, it's easy to think of all these things that we want to try to add into our classroom and shift the way that we're presenting material and um, academic um, tasks so that they have opportunities to practice these skills. But how are we really going to be held accountable and know that we've, we've done it, we did it, we succeeded there? Um, a couple of examples I'll show you on the next slide, the certs, transactional supports, and the project access program evaluation we have available. But certainly, if you've written your goals well, um, then those student outcomes, um, following along and seeing, are they meeting those goals? Are they meeting those goals independently and generalizing those into settings outside of uh, your immediate involvement, right? Um, talk to families, find out if they're noticing change and difference in how the individual um, interacts at home. And every school district is required um, to submit data about um, graduated students. So there's um, the statistics that we started off with in the introductory section when we talked about, you know, um, so many of our students are not maintaining employment or gaining employment even after high school. Those all come from um, the statistics and data that districts have to submit um, about post-secondary employment and um, sustainability and success in those employment settings. So you can certainly um, follow up with that information for your district to see how the things that you're doing um, from year to year are affecting outcomes for students in your community. And data collection, right? We had a whole section talking about data. Um, student self-evaluation and self-reinforcement as well as data collection by staff. 